The Nuggets are not holding anything back in the wardrobe department as they made their entrance tonight, hoping to make an impression on their home floor. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The beautiful skyline of Denver, Colorado is our backdrop tonight. Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA Basketball. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Murray. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. D.A., thank you. We've got great athletes tonight, Brent. Much of this game we think will be above the rim. Uh, this is going to be fantastic. I hope we get out into some fast breaks where these guys have an opportunity to get their feet together, rise up, and get the fans. Not only them getting up, Kevin, but the fans getting up out you of their seats. You and I will be getting up, though. I will be standing up. You huh? for sure will be up. <laughs> Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. And it's Howard in at the five. And for the Nuggets, Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Then it's Michael Porter. Then there's Murray. And it's Craig in at the two guard. A shot's good from LeBron. Uh, the in-between game showing off here by LeBron. Does his share of damage from the mid-range and another one there. Porter looking it over. Five to shoot. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. A pure shooter who's also efficient. Porter nearly automatic from mid-range. Pass to LeBron. Over Porter. And the shot is long. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Kings. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Porter. And Davis sends it back. Just a wonderful effort from Davis on the defensive end with that rejection. Second chance shot. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. The Nuggets have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Murray. And he uses the glass on the layup. Well, there's a little bit of Murray's handle on display. The D looked totally confused as to what to do there. Rondo passes to Howard. Pass to James. And they double up LeBron. Green deciding where to go with it. High post shot. That one, no good. And the Nuggets going the other way. Here's Craig. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. For Los Angeles, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Here's LeBron, a stupendous finish in traffic. James has got his third basket of the night right there. The Nuggets trail. Murray outside. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. They get a hand on it. Here's Craig. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Make 
Just two to shoot. Rondo sometimes gets it in his system that defensively he wants to disrupt the game, and he's doing it now. That shot is off. And Denver the other way now. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Murray outside. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Well, buttery right there. Knockdown shooter from that area. Murray taking advantage of that opportunity. Talk about players who are X-factors for their team and for the Nuggets. Jamal Murray is one of those guys. He is a guy that once he gets going, feels like the team can become unbeatable. Great work by the team there to find AD. They make eye contact, and the rest of that is history. Here's Craig, guarded by Green. Rondo against Murray. Over Rondo. Murray, no good. As you said, Brent, a hot Jamal Murray can take over a game. Big time investment from the Nuggets this offseason and what Jamal Murray is to them now, but what he can be in the future. And I think right now what he's looking to be is as consistent as he possibly can be night in and night out to prepare this team each season to play its best basketball in the postseason. Now here's Murray following the miss by Anthony Davis. They get it back. Now Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I like that penetration there. Murray getting to the cup with great quickness. And while Murray is known, Brent, for his outside shooting, he's very strong with his in-between game as well. Yeah, he's got a lot of options offensively and getting more and more in contact with Jokic on those high screen and rolls. Devastating, Kevin, when he gets to that left hand, gets around the free throw line and shoots that high floater. There are nights where he does tons of damage with that. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Murray. We're just halfway through the season. Brent, talk about the value of leadership and keeping everyone focused night in and night out. A lot of that will come from your, your coaching staff and the messaging, but I will tell you what, Kevin, playing with a, a star player that goes out there and does it night after night, watching James Harden, watching Russell Westbrook, watching Steph Curry, have the kind of unreal performances for the game 56, the game 68. You're just sitting there in amazement. You want to step up and say, you know what, I want to be there for you. But, but to me, that may be the most important, like every game they're there. Right? They, every single game. They are there. They're excited to be there. They're excited for you to be playing, and they, they raise the level of your attentiveness to being competitive on a nightly basis. Mm. And truly, those guys become inspirational to you. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And it's good, two points. It's so difficult to stop him. Even when you hit him or pull at him or tug him or talk to him, none of it works. Here is Porter, following the basket by LeBron James. Morris against Rondo. And there's the pass to Jokic. Morris outside, over Rondo. Offensive rebound. McGee with the block. Jokic with the steal. And Davis sends it back. Green against Murray. Fader on the way. And it's Green missing. The Nuggets trail by four. Here's Morris. Good D by Rondo. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. And the bright lights of L.A. perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> 
not for LeBron James. But this guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions off the court. The City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. Free throw drops for James. Still playing at an MVP level. LeBron James, the greatest player of his generation, and some would argue, of all time. We can't take for granted what we've been able to witness. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Kyle Kuzma comes in for Rajon Rondo. And it's Waiters in for Green. And both free throws good for timeout, LeBron. Timeout. And now in his mid-30s, LeBron showing no sign of slowing down. Man, his dedication to training and, and really maintaining his body second to none. Uh, alongside his prodigious athleticism, it seems that's made a huge difference. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. Look at LeBron James here. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. Second in scoring, seventh in field goal percentage, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And what he's doing right now, carving up defensive schemes at will, second best score in the league, it's just a marvelous thing to watch and appreciate. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You take a look at Los Angeles. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And of course the Nuggets, a game and a half out. And you know for the Nuggets, they've got their sights set pretty darn high right now. After what they've done this season, their goal is nothing short of a title. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves that might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Here's Dozier, following the basket by JaVale McGee. Here's Morris. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Here's Morris following the basket by Anthony Davis. Here's Dozier coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. From deep, Kuzma pulls it in. Last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to Dallas. To the inside. Plumley with some nice D. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Bull kicks to Dozier. One forty-nine left here in the first quarter. Up top, Morris. He's guarded by Waiter. Goes up on the high post. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. And the Nuggets making a change here. Daniels has checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here as well. Markeith Morris has checked in for Davis. Here's James. James. 
Not going to go that time. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Passes it to Bull. Now Daniels. To stop the run. Rebounded by McGee. Lakers leading by 10. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to James. Back to Waiters. And then Waiters with the jam. I mean, it looks simple, but LeBron makes it look that way, Kevin. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Grant outside. Pass to Dozier. Here's the floater. Plumley in the post. McGee's there. And here's Plumley. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Dozier. And again, Denver no good. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll get right back to the action when we return. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game. Uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the bar particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. Taking a look at Los Angeles, they've got JaVel McGee. LeBron James is out there with Deion Waiters. Then there's Markeith Morris. And it's Kuzma in at the small forward spot. He's off on the first. What improvements, Brent, do you uh, like to see out of players going from season one to their second season in the league? Biggest thing, Kevin, turnovers. Player comes into the league, has an opportunity to play, wants to rush things, plays too fast, doesn't have an ability to slow down and make reads. From season one to season two, and given the role and responsibility for that player, when you watch a guy whose ability to take away the mistakes, the simple mistakes he made last year, that's growth. Because it's connected to so many other areas of his game. Right, and he's not trying to do things that he wasn't capable of doing when he came into the league last year. He's understanding more of where it is that he's best suited in possessions and for that offense. Good explanation. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Grant against James. Waiters outside. From deep three-point range. Here's McGee. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable.
that's good from McGee. And the Nuggets franchise still looking for their first trip to the NBA Finals. How about the franchise making the ABA Finals back in 1976? So it's been quite elusive here in the mountains to get the Finals back to Denver. 40 years ago, still looking for that trip. Both free throws, good from McGee. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Dozier passes to Plumley. Here's Craig. Looking for McGee, he gets it there. James looking around. Now here's Waiters. He's covered by Daniels. Waiters no luck. The Nuggets trail by 15. Daniels with it. He saw him with 10 points last game. Dozier kicks to Grant. Here's Craig. Three-pointer, Daniels. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Waiters outside. a hand on it and now here comes Daniel in the break finishes the break with a slam changing ends quickly he's rewarded with a high percentage look yeah the defense trying to do their best to slow him down but when he gets room like that you gotta look out now here is Morris still getting warmed up offensively no scoring yet from him and they double up LeBron to the middle Kuzma good and the assist goes to LeBron and the Lakers lead by 12. Beautiful touch close in. Kuzma excels at taking advantage down low. Here's Craig, guarded by Kuzma. Here's Craig. Here's JaVale McGee with the rebound. McGee's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Pulls up. Craig can't get it to go. And Morris has got the ball here for Los Angeles. He's only allowed five points in the quarter. And with his size and athletic ability playing above the rim, not an issue for Kuzma. Denver calls timeout. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. She said, don't be stressing in the limelight. Hey, praise up for the most part. Ain't no killing on the sofa. Head gone, head so far. In the clouds, any minute now, I should get it now. I already told ya. I've been tired of the useless. I've been tired of the using. I ain't even talking loosely. Lord, don't move me. Thinking it's a movie. I just wanna make a movie. It gets like that when it's just. So both teams changing it up here. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. Take a look at Murray. And at number four on the list, he's almost certain to take part in the contest this year. He's going to be excited to let those long-range shots fly in All-Star Weekend. And the fans have been right to give him so much love. He's deadly from beyond, and he has to be in this contest this season. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent 
precision and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. And it's sent back by Howard. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Porter's checked in for Denver. Morris comes in for Troy Daniels. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Howard, the pass to Green. Back to Howard. And then jammed down as he goes right over Jokic. That's the way to put your vertical to good use. Dwight Howard on the jam. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Morris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the pass to Murray. Got a piece of it. Six to shoot. Trying to get something going. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. And Green gets it to go. The Nuggets trail by 18. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Murray kicks to Jokic. And another miss by Denver. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. Outside Rondo. Kuzma outside. Just five on the clock. Denver grabs the miss. Next step for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. To the paint. Now the Lakers on the break. Green with the ball. The feed to Rondo. And it's sent back by Jokic. Deceptive reach from Jokic there. Swatting that shot away using those long arms. Murray dishes to Morris. Millsaps against Davis. Millsap passes to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Here's Morris. Offensive rebound. Feeds to Millsap. Really the hard work and the lunch pail mentality of a guy like Paul Millsap, who made himself into an all-star in the Eastern Conference. He's got tremendous skill and versatility. Denver. Well, you think about the season that Millsap was injured two years ago and how much that took away some development. Then a year later, Denver does some great things with Millsap in the lineup. Then they re-sign him this offseason thinking they can take another step. And Paul Millsap, Shoot such a two. good, solid defender and scorer, was devastating for them in the playoffs and a source of valuable offense on that end. Paul Millsap, the veteran and the adult in the room for this Denver team. And that one falls for Paul Millsap. And he can't hit the second. Lakers leading by 17. Rondo passes to Green. Offensive rebound. Rondo kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Green. Howard against Jokic. Goes up again. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Green. Howard's got four points now in the quarter. And for Millsap, he's a vocal leader when he's on the floor. Well, his defensive numbers were so off the charts when he played in Atlanta for the Hawks alongside Al Horford. That's the reason I think that Tim Conley and the Denver Nuggets looked at 
the addition of Paul Millsap providing them foundation on a nightly basis. He could be the concrete for them on the defensive end of the floor. And here's Rondo after Jamal Murray was able to get that triple. Rondo finds Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The defender there makes a poor choice, underestimating Green's savvy it results in a trip to the line. At the number of trades now starting to involve stars, it feels like the league's power balance is always shifting to some degree. Yeah, and I think organizations that are trying to stay ahead of the trend, Kevin, might think about, we might have a star for just two years. Mm -hmm. How can we get the next one? Backside of that, Kevin, is a lot of these star players are signing deals that are not extending to four, five, six years. You can't even do that anymore. So you get a guy for a couple years, what he wants to do is maximize his earning potential for one or two seasons, become a free agent again, and then look around the league where opportunities not only to win, but to also cash in. That's what's happening in today's game. Bowl, he's checked in for Denver. And both free throws good for Green. A relatively rare trip to the free throw line for Green, averaging just one attempt per game over the course of his career. Shot from 12. Millsap trying to get open. Another miss is sixth of the night after six shot attempts. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. Bobbed up there for Howard. Knocks it loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Millsap. And here's what the schedule for the Lakers looks like. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. Then on Friday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And for their matchup with the Magic, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Here's Morris following the basket by Anthony Davis. Down low from eight and Davis sends it back. Rondo passes to Davis and it's Davis with the jam. Loving the intensity from the brow there. He threw that one down with some real force. Morris kicks to Bull. Murray the pass to Morris. Murray against Green. Lets it go with a three. No good that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Paul Millsap picks one up. Well, it was speculated all of last season and shortly after the finals ended that Anthony Davis had had his wish fulfilled by getting traded to the Lakers. And Davis and LeBron make as scary a duo as you can think of in the NBA. Missed out on some of the other marquee free agents, but AD will get a plethora of looks playing alongside LeBron. And the first one drops. I just wonder for teams that are playing against Anthony Davis, uh, 48 minutes of that kind of length out on the floor, he just becomes an imposing player defensively. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. LeBron, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Deion Waiters subbed in for Danny Green. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Well, we keep talking a lot about Anthony Davis and the fact that when he was a young player, he played the point guard position and then all of a sudden grew like 60 inches to play center position. Uh, you see that skill set show up now and again, but really what you're seeing now about AD is his maturity in the game, finding spots on the floor where he can absolutely be dominant and control any kind of offensive possession from wherever he is on the floor. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Murray. A 23-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Kept alive, Davis. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. And so he makes both from the line. Denver's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Murray right side. Will it go? That one doesn't go. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. And so it's Los Angeles, rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Mike Malone. Things got away from you guys in the first half. What happened out there? Transition baskets, offensive rebounds, two of the areas that we knew coming into this game that we had to control. There's no sense of urgency right now. We're just shooting the ball. We're waiting to get back, and they're getting easy runouts. A lot to clean up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 13 points, 4 assists, and 4 rebounds. He's been playing extremely well lately and making some new highlights for us already in this one. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. More often than not, Ernie, LeBron tries to involve his teammates early but he came in ready to shoulder the load tonight. Terrific all-around performance in the first half. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Their field goal percentage reminds me of Kenny's breath. Brutal. Not reading the defense, not getting enough quality looks. They need to make major changes because the system they ran in the first half was not working. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been a clinic out there by James. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. Now you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then it's Porter. And it's Craig in at the shooting guard position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Green with the block. Well, if you're going to make that offensive move, it's important to know where Danny Green is, one of the better shot-blocking guards you're going to find. Now here's LeBron to the inside. Here's Davis. No good that time. Good work defensively by Millsap. Well, Coach Mike Malone has grown up with this young Nuggets team. He says that he believes in the youth of this team. Well, the future is so bright for the Denver Nuggets, and really where you have to give Mike Malone a ton of credit is when they made the decision between their two bigs, Jokic and Nurkic, sticking with Jokic, and then changing their entire offensive style to play from a point center position. It has paid huge dividends. Now here's Murray after LeBron James's miss. 
Murray, the pass to Jokic. Porter kicks to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Shoots a fader. And it's Jokic missing. And that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fade away when nobody's guarding you. And Howard with the stuff. I swear Dwight Howard plays with a watch on. His timing is tremendous on those alley-oops. Now here's Murray. Nine points in the game so far. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's foul number two for him. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Pass to Murray. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. This will be his third free-throw shot of the game. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free-throw line this season. How about over 90%? Shooting one. Two free throws. And so he hits the technical free-throw. Yeah, there's a lot of potential left in the tank for Jamal Murray. He's able to play both guard spots, but it's that sweet jump shot that has his teammates and the coaching staff salivating about where his ceiling is. Now, here's Millsap. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. And that's good. Jamal Murray for three. Murray's got 13 points. Well, if Murray can do that and become a threat from the three-point line, look out. Pass to Davis. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Craig. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Out to the right wing. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Rondo finds Davis. Lays it up off the glass. 15 points in the game. I like it when AD starts to step on the gas pedal offensively. He starts to feel like nobody can stop him. And he very well might be right. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. And Denver has possession. Jokic against Rondo. Here's Murray. When these players get to the free throw line, it's nearly automatic. The 2K leaderboard show us this month's free throw shooting percentage leader. Second Paul Millsap. And during that time, guys, he's been an absolute dead-eye shooter from the free throw line. His concentration just never wavers. Two. The first one falls. Arkeith Morris is checked in for the Lakers. And so Murray nails both of them. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's off to Utah for him after this game as they take on the Jazz. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. And Rondo playing with great energy right now, putting the defense in some very difficult spots. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And 72% on the year. I'm sure they'd like to improve that category. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets.
And that trip coming up empty, missing both. You talk about solid role players, Brent. Mason Plumley fits the bill. Does such a great job consistently of coming in, being a physical player, setting screens and rolling. Probably an underrated part of his game is the way that he passes the ball, but never is going to get your team out of sorts with the way that Mason can play within his role. Here's Morris after the Nuggets pick up two. Shot clock at six. Rondo finds Morris. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Rondo's got five assists tonight. Here's Dozier. Over Morris. Misses off the left iron. Los Angeles leading by 22. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. Taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas, David, thank you. Jokic, long and quick hands there to poke that one away. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's gonna be on Jokic. For Los Angeles, they have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. If you were commissioner, Brent, of the NBA, would you add or alter any rules right now? Wow. Uh, first of all, I think you get to fly on a really nice plane <laughs> wherever you're going, and you get to go to any game you want to. Yeah. So sign me up With for that With courtside seats, by the way, too. Uh, add or alter any NBA rules. I think the game is in a pretty good place right now, Kevin. Um, and, and there's not much that I, I, I think is out there for us to change. It seems like All-Star Weekend and the length of the season seems to be two pretty prominent things that continually come up. Yeah, and, and as far as the question, I guess my head was going to things that are on the floor. I was thinking that They're, too, but I couldn't think of anything that really... On the floor, it's tough to, to figure out something that, that could be adjusted. And I know Adam Silver and David Stern before him, all of their concern mostly is about the, game. the optics of the game. Yes, yes. And uh, right now, it's in a pretty good spot. It's very pleasing to watch, there's no doubt. LeBron passes to Waiters. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. Craig passes to Morris. Here's Craig, guarded by Kuzma. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jeremy Brent. Bull, bull. Troy Daniels. Here's Morris. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Back to Grant. Six on the shot clock. A rebound by the Lakers. Morris has got his fifth rebound in this one. James against Morris. McGee dishes to Waiters. And the three ball is good. Waiters got five now. Well, he is an offensive weapon, especially when Waiters gets locked in in the catch and shoot game. Morris against James. Morris into the lane. McGee with the block. And it's the Lakers on the break. Waiters leading the charge. Well, Deion Waiters, the epitome of a player that can shoot you in or out of a game. Very uh, hit or miss night to night. Yeah, the thing about Deion is he's got a very short memory, Kevin. So he'll continue to fire it up there and try to make an impact in the game 
offensively. You're either on Waiters Island where it's full of life on nights where he's hitting it, or it's completely deserted and there's no point in going. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good Waiters. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. And both free throws good for Waiters. Nuggets have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Jokic against James. Little turnaround. And it's Jokic missing. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Los Angeles. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. That one is on bowl. Plays with such a fearlessness. Kuzma is terrific at staying engaged and forcing the issue. Taking two shots. And positionless basketball, all the rage. And Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold. Is he a three? Is he a four? I don't know, but he gets Take a buckets. Break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And very light-footed is Kuzma. Moves well for his size. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of build, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Cook is checked in for the Lakers. Second free throw, no good and missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Daniels kicks to Morris. Takes the three, and he's good on the three ball. Morris has got his first three points of the game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Morris passes to McGee. Just five to shoot. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. All right, a chance to look at the stats for Nikola Jokic. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. Averaging about 26 points per, 15 rebounds and eight assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now, physically and mentally, has been good. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Now, here is Morris. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Morris has got five points in the quarter. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Waiters, no luck. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Jokic kicks the ball. The pass to Daniels. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Daniels has got six points. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. Well, the run simply has given them a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. Good, good. Now that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Morris looking over the floor. 
some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And that one drops. And perfect timing. This run is exactly what they needed, and it's right when they needed it. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. Now here's Waiters. He's got seven. The shot comes out. Good defense by Jokic. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. The Nuggets have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one drops. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. A different look for Denver. Millsap comes in for Jeremy Grant. And Murray subbed in for Bull. And then for Los Angeles, Howard's checked in for Morris. Marjan Rondo is subbed in for Cook. Both free throws good from Daniels. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Rondo against Morris. Rondo dishes to McGee. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Here's Daniels. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And it's the Lakers on the break. Rondo's running. It's rebounded by Paul Millsap. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lakers lead by 15. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. Here we go now. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here is Howard. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. JaVale McGee is out there with Green. Then there's Howard. Then there's Deion Waiters. And it's Rondo in at the point. McGee the pass to Howard. Five to shoot. Good on the shot. Howard's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Los Angeles. Howard establishing some confidence now down low. Just get him the ball and let him take care of business. And Murray, here we go. Count that one. It makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. Waiters surveying the D. Over Murray. Waiters no luck. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Murray kicks to Daniels. He feeds it to Millsap. And that one is good. Even though Millsap draws the contact there, he does an incredible job forcing that one through the hoop. Morris against Rondo. With some arc. And it's sent back by Jokic. The shot's good from McGee. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Now here is Morris. To the middle. Here's Jokic. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. Jokic has got his first bucket of the night. I just don't think that Jokic is ever in a hurry out there, which helps in that set. Outside Rondo. Passes it to Howard. Shot clock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Waiters for three. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got four rebounds now tonight. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. 
And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. And the Lakers call time here. And how about the transition from Paul Millsap going away from that star role to being more of a role player here in his later years? No longer needed to carry the torch, if you will, in terms of scoring and rebounding. But he can still give you just a bit of everything else at this stage. A different look for Denver. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Troy Daniels. And it's Torrey Craig in for Morris. And then for the Lakers. And Anthony Davis is checked in for JaVale McGee. And James subbed in for Deion Waiters. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. His point to them was that they put themselves in a position to succeed and that this is their game to lose. And he needs to see full concentration out of every guy on the court to finish this one off. Kevin? No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And with Bill Sapp, you can just see him contribute in so many ways. I mean, a great passer for his position and also very unselfish with his offense. Still a plus defender with how often he is giving up size on the inside. That free throw, no good. That's off as well, so he misses both. Lakers leading by 11. Rondo finds James. Loads it up for Davis. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Back to Murray. To the paint. And Millsap slams it in. I like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Rob. Quarter against Green. The lead now in single digits. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. And for the Lakers, they're shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Rondo. Now here is Howard. LeBron outside. Five on the clock. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by 11. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. 
you see LeBron just shrug off that contact there. It's like nothing even hit him. One shot. The Nuggets trail by 14. Murray surveying the D. No good on that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. Left side, Davis. Porter against Ronda. Pass to LeBron. It is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got six assists in the game. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Denver calls timeout. You look at James. What a contribution. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and, and it really backfired. Uh, instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. The Nuggets with another miss. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You got to play tough, physical defense. Here's James, and James throws it down. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. There's the pass to Jokic. Over Howard, and Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Six points for Jokic. And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. Let's it go from 11. Here's Howard. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the Lakers lead by 18. Nuggets have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Passes to Porter. From deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Uh, he's been incredible in this half. Anytime he pulls up from outside, you think that's bottoms. Rondo against Murray. Millsap with the steal. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And finished off by Porter. And you got to stay with Paul Millsap in transition for a bigger guy. He does a good job of getting out wide. Here's Rondo. Howard trying to free himself up. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. One shot. The free throw drops for Rondo. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Nuggets. They trail by 16. Go, 
Pass to Jokic. Jacks up a three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's James. Here's Howard. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. And that's an important rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. Deep two from Murray. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Lakers leading by 13. Now James. Releases from 15. There's a quiet intensity that Jokic plays with, especially on defense. It made that shooter a little bit nervous. Right side, Millsap. And Davis sends it back. Rondo passes to Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Deep two from Murray. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Murray's got 19 points. Murray's starting to feel the J here, sinking these shots time and time again. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Lakers shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. James up top. He's covered by Murray. Howard, good. And the Lakers lead by 15. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Anthony Davis. I just loved his defense. He took pride in swatting away a bunch of shots tonight and made his impact felt. Murray against Rondo. Pass to Davis over Porter. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Rondo. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. The pass to Howard. Back to Rondo. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort, both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now, knowing that you can make things tough on the opposition? Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. It's been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.